Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about shoes. Love, love, love shoes. I just love them. So, I don't know the answer to this. So leave your answer down below. Do you call them tennis shoes or do you call them sneakers? I call like my Adidas that I wear to work, or Nikes, or walking shoes, or anything like that, anything that I'm going to wear to the gym or work, I call tennis shoes. Dress shoe, dress shoe, a sneaker that I would wear with like jeans and a cute top, or shorts and a sweater, or something like that, I call sneakers. What do you all call them? Let me know. Um, I apologize if you can tell that I have 85 pounds of dry shampoo in my hair, but today we don't have time to wash my hair. Anyways, I've been talking for 45 hours. Y'all want to hear about the shoes. That's why you came. Are you ready? Uh, oh my god, they're so pretty. These are the Golden Goose Midstar. Um, I don't actually know what. There's a zillion color, combo, texture, print, styles out there of the authentic Golden Goose sneakers so I don't really know that they actually have names for their shoes they're styled. anywhere from I don't know like upward like between three and four hundred dollars probably or probably like four twenty five I think is the cheapest and they can go all the way up to like a thousand if you get like jewels and pearls and all that you know whistles and bells all over them so I found these on DHgate. I have been looking for Golden Goose um, Dupe. have a lot of Dulce Vita sneakers that they're still an expensive sneaker. They're anywhere from like I don't know a hundred to a hundred and twenty five thirty dollars but they're really good sneakers too. They have the same kind of style little grungy look. I would say that the Dulce Vita shoes are more like a dupe because they're not trying. I mean they're same you know, style of a Golden Goose sneaker, but they're not trying to copy them, I guess. I mean, I guess people could argue and say that they are, but these are a replica, because these are not real, but, you know, they have the branding and all that on it. So, we'll get into... It does say Golden on the back here in a... This whole back part is like a glittery... It's not like texture-wise glittery, but it has that sheen glitter to it. It's silver with the uh, letters written in... It's like uh, black... And then on the side, you have the GGDB Golden Goose Deluxe brand printed on the side leather. I don't, I really don't, I mean, these smell like leather. These smell like my, like other leather boots that I have. These smell like leather, but I'd have to go back on the seller's um, page to see what their description were, was as far as if it says PU on it, which is like a fake leather, but you can't tell by looking at it. First open them, I didn't know how I felt, felt about them. I was looking and I was like, oh, there's a couple things that are super, super, super wrong on these shoes. But the more I looked, because the ha Golden Goose has a zillion different styles, I came to find out that these run pretty consistent with the real deal. So just a couple things that I noticed when I first put them on. These are a size... 37. European size 37, I feel like, personally, I feel like runs more true to a 6. However, these fit so well with no socks on that I think I can get away with like a no-show sock or something thin. Um, I'm definitely going to do another video on these, testing a little experiment with a hair dryer, trying to mold them to my feet. So, if you are going to get this shoe, if you're like me and you're a half size, you like to wear a normal kind of thickness in a sock, go up to the next The next, next thing that I noticed on the inside, I did not expect the inside to come with the, on the original uh, sneakers, they have this little, it's not felt, it's not suede, I don't really know what it is. It, it runs all the way down behind here. Um, up into the tongue. I did not expect that to be there at all. On the inside of the shoe, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says Francy, F-R-A-N-C-Y. To be honest, when I first got them, because I don't know all of the different styles, I was like, oh, that's funny. They're, you know, they're fake. They're Francy. Get it? 
Okay, so that's where I was. And then I went on last night looking at trying to find this exact sneaker. And I was looking at where this stamping was as far as like in correlation with these three holes and all of that. And I saw that there was a category of this tag name, but and then there's some that say mid star in the in the sole on the tag. So I pick. Anyways, um, so these are stamped correctly. It kind of does look a little crooked, but not that crooked. Um, the golden written on the back of the sneakers, they both say golden. I think the only thing with that is they are a little, like this one's way more straight than this one is. This one's not straight at all. The print is too far down. Like I think that the print should be up a little bit on this to where the letters are almost going over top of this. Putting the sneakers on, I do know something about Golden Goose sneakers that a lot of people don't like. I prefer this in a sneaker, but, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm, it's going to be very hard for me to explain this, but not just a Golden Goose thing because Dolce Vita, which, hey, it could be another I'm copying you thing, has them too. But, like, they almost have, like, a lifted insert in the shoe. If I can take this out, I will. Yeah, so, like, see how that's kind of lifted in the back? These are not like the original ones. I can tell you that right now. When I put my feet in them, I don't feel lifted in the back. That might not run true to every single style of this brand sneaker. So, don't quote me on that. I could be very wrong. I almost feel like... It's something you have to get used to, but you feel like your foot is halfway out of the shoe, but they're so comfortable once you break them in and once they mold to your feet. I wish that they were in all of my dress sneakers, whatever you want to call them. But these are super cute. I'll tell you how much I paid for them. The seller is not really even a name that I purchased these from. It's like a bunch of letters. If it is a name, I can't pronounce it, so again, I will leave it below. But I paid, these shoes were $86.23, an extra $17. I told myself that I was going to stay at that $100 mark with these I shoes. I waited one, two, right at two weeks. So very happy with that ship time uh, for two weeks and 100 bucks. Sis is happy. I'll take pictures of them and put them on my Instagram as I always do. If you all are not following my, me on Instagram, definitely head over and check out my Instagram. That is where I leave. So I review things and usually unbox them here on my channel. Kind of like used the bag or the shoes or whatever I'm doing that week. After I've used it, then that's when I'll take pictures of it, upload it to my Instagram and kind of go through, okay, what are the pros, what are the cons, my overall thought after kind of wearing them for a little bit. So that's where you will find update, review of things. I am wanting to do a giveaway when I reach a certain amount of subscribers. So if you all are watching and you like my videos, please make sure you subscribe. Hit the like on this video if you like seeing these type of reviews. Um, I'm going to wear these sneakers today. Like I said, I've got to study, but... I'm not against wearing sneakers at the kitchen table with sweatpants and a sweatshirt on studying. So that's what I'm going to do. I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Bye.